Renee here with Jade Penguin Jewelry. Back again with another Goodwill box. This one I did open because it had um, a packing slip with my information on it on the inside and I peeled the label off. And that's as far as I went. Um, so we're going to dive right in and see what we got in this week's Goodwill box. So first impressions, there's quite a shiny stone right there and a really big chain and it just comes right off. That's pretty heavy but I don't, I don't know what it is. Alright, move the box to the side. And I'm gonna grab a handful. Okay, I'm gonna move a little bit back. Got another tray for our little bits and pieces. Alright, so this big guy, he's broken, looks like something came out of that end, and this looks hot glued in place, and it looks like this one was at one time too, so this is definitely going to go for uh, craft pieces or repurposing. I definitely don't want to sell somebody else a piece of hot glued jewelry. Alright, that's just velvet and rubber together. Loosely glued together to make a choker. Doesn't look marked. It's an interesting design. Alright, mood. This one changed much faster than the ring I got before. It's gonna tell me I'm stressed again. Just gonna wait for it. Maybe not. Cute little whale. I don't think any of it's silver. It's not magnetic. But yeah, I'll definitely salvage the parts off of this for something. I don't know, I find mood stuff still pretty exciting. I remember they were a big thing when I was a kid. Yeah, see, now it's not changing. It's green, it's letting me know I'm stressed out. Thanks for tattling on me, turtle. Um, everybody's favorite cording. All this wire work. Let's see if I can't get something not wire through here. Alright, well that was kind of easy. Um, these are porcelain, I think. Because they're cold. But I would definitely salvage these beads off this cord. This cord looks really dirty in this medallion. Kind of just looks like it was made with an, I want to say injection mold because there's a seam all the way around it, so they popped it out when it was done. Lonely earring. supposed to snow here in a few days. It's my furnace kicking on in the background. I apologize. Another lonely earring. 
thought I saw a maker stamp on it. Not the case. Same with that one. I just sent off my first bundle of jewelry for a refinery. So we'll see how that goes. It's just a regular chain. And our lovely bonus hair. Alright, that's gonna go in the trash. Okay, not stamped. Very busy clip on earring. All right. I'm gonna unhook this guy and cheat a little bit, get it around the wire. There we go. Yeah, these are molded on the string. And then there's real beads and then back to being molded on to the string and it's shedding. So I'm probably going to try to recover possibly the, the beads off of here and then I don't know, do something else with all the molded on plastic beads on strings. I haven't figured out anything to do with Mardi Gras beads when I get them. These are plastic, but they got a nice color to them. Maybe we'll find a buddy. Okay, I think that's an earring and it sounds like a cowbell. These kind of look like crop circles. Lonely earring club. Okay. Ooh. That's sparkly. Not marked. Yeah, I think I'm going to come back to this nightmare and put this over on the project side of things. Maybe I'll speed my way through it. Okay, I have a feeling I'm just going to get a lot of uh, things to untangle in this box. Fake snake skin cuff bracelet. Alright, here is a aluminum flower brooch. Colors are good. It, oh, it's missing a stone. I was gonna say it needs some cleaning. It's very dusty for a brooch. Alright. That's a very interesting. I bet it doesn't stay. Clasp. A nice bow on it. Not magnetic. I feel like it pulls apart too easily. Like you would lose it wearing it. It's not too bad though. Oh, it's marked. Alright, it's a Kate Spade bracelet. It says Kate Spade, New York, right in there. Not that you guys can see it, but I'll put a little, I'll put a little blow up next to us. So, ooh, um, how did that? Oh, like that. Okay. 
Uh, this elastic is completely gone. So I will definitely be reusing these metal bits. Hey, it's a t-shirt bracelet. This is... That's kind of a cool way to do it. Survivor. It's kind of cool how they went around doing the leather stripping and just did two lobster claws. Okay, that's what's tickling my hand, feathers. probably reuse the chain but I will get rid of the feathers those feathers definitely seen some better days molded on plastic pearls definitely costumey that's weird Three shepherd's hooks, a whole bunch of sparkle. Why would I do that? I'm gonna have to research this. I don't know anything about it. Is that a stamp? It's not a stamp, it's a tool mark. I have to figure out why they did it. The way that they did it. This guy's heavy. Kind of a high statement piece. But it looks like all of his strings are still there. But that appears just to be a knot. Sometimes with these big statement necklaces, there's one or two strands that have come loose out of the big knot under the end cap. And so that's what you find at the bottom of the, the box is what's come off the strand of beads. And then even if you take the strands off that are broken, chances are that they doubled back and forth a bunch. So if one, if you don't re-knot it up there, that strand will slowly unwork itself and you start losing more and more beads as you wear it. But that one kind of looks like it's complete, so maybe it won't fall apart on us. And then this is the necklace that got itself involved with the chicken feathers. It doesn't look too bad. The, the white beads look, feel kind of like porcelain, and then these are plastic. They kind of remind me of pine cones. Yeah, these are just glued on and then felt medallion and glued on. And we have a snowflake. Um, I'll probably salvage this for some of the parts. I'm definitely going to get rid of these really vintage looking flowers. Those are pretty dirty. Okay. I feel like this box had a lot of um, much bigger pieces in it. So I feel like we're getting through it pretty quickly. And I have two good sized piles left to go.
snap, that one looks snap. Yeah, this one's snap. These are all plastic. So I'll salvage this for some parts. No clasp on it. This one has a hang tag. Looks like it's just an N. Might be a Z, depending, I guess, which way you look at it. So I'll have to look at that tag. See what it is. Pretty sure it's an N. I'm not really familiar with it. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder why they did that. That's a weird way to do um, cable guard. If I can get that closer for you guys to see, is uh, it almost looks like a guitar string that they put over regular beading wire to kind of protect it so it doesn't get worn out and uh, snap. I have to pop up a picture of wire guards and show you for crafting. What I usually see. Not the case with this. I don't know about this. I don't know if I'd use those giant plastic things. Cynthia Payne. Well, that's some stained glass work. <clears throat> Cut piece of stained glass, the lead piping. While the <clears throat> lid was still soft, they put some chain in there to give it some edging. Soldered on a little wire for the bead. That's pretty cool handiwork. That might be good just on a necklace. I don't have an earring buddy to go with it. Handiwork. I have no idea what this is. The heart kind of reminds me of Monster High, but I have no idea. So that goes with homework. Of course, we have Betty Boop with an R. Not the biggest fan of Betty Boop, so probably see if I can't. <clears throat> sell it as a charm. It doesn't seem to be stamped anywhere on the chain, so probably base metal. Yeah, it's magnetic. Put that guy over there. Stretchy bracelet. I thought it was a hang tag, but it's a pendant for the necklace. Negative space heart. We'll cut out. The charm's cute. The chain looks a little dingy. Probably have to clean it. Now they're molded on plastic pearls. I wonder when schools are going to start doing plays again because I can donate that to like a prop department or something. Oh good, this has hair. Trash. Really short necklace, so I'll probably just use it for beads and scrap. It's aluminum, it's really light. So it's not gonna be, the jump rings are gonna be magnetic, but the chain isn't. <clears throat> Super broken, but I like the blue, so I'll probably separate this out for parts too. Chain's pretty good. The links are soldered, so unless I want to cut the links, 
kind of have to use it in the length that it is, but I'll probably end up cutting some of it. So that's definitely going to be for scrap. Okay, we're getting lower in the in the pile. It's yellow. Not marked. I don't know, I guess those are cute, but I'd probably scrap them for parts or beans. That's pretty sparkly. Here we have, feels like an aluminum three strand plastic necklace with a shepherd's hook in it. Let's see if I can get this out of here. There we go. It's not marked. I like the Art deco -y. oh no, here we go, it's marked on the hook, not on the part. This is Hong Kong. Yes, it says Hong Kong right across here. is a wicker woven bracelet. Looks like these are sewn on with fishing wire. Okay, moving on. Oh no, we lost our friend. There's some really high-end bracelets that follow this style. I saw a couple recently on Margaret's Facebook page. There's a mark in here. So this is a different jeweler's loop that I have because this one comes with, you can probably not see it, um, comes with the black light on it because some stones are reactive and I like to have it just to kind of test some stones. I think this is a white stone if I turn the lights off. And then it glows orange under black light. So I don't need the black light for this. I just need to be able to read the mark on here. Okay, it says 925 on both sides of the bracelet, just under here and under there. So somebody wore this until they wore the the end off of this. Oh, that was just glued in there. Good job, me. So this will probably probably go in just a scrap pile for 925 weight. This plane is much heavier than this side, so I feel like if you wore it across across your um, like cardigan opening or sweater vest or something like that, one side is definitely going to outweigh the other side. But both of those are pretty cool. The chain's aluminum; it's very light. Yeah, it's not magnetic. I think that's what that's for, is like holding your sweater closed. A bent bangle that's painted orange. And a really messed up cord choker. It looks like it had things soldered on it and it snapped off. So this might just be for scrap or 
It might be trash if I can't figure out what to do with it, but it looks pretty worn. Bangles pretty good. It's not soft, not easily squished. Doesn't seem to be marked, but it's a pretty good bracelet. It doesn't look like it's worn or patinaed or anything, so I'll probably put that in a bangle lot um, that I've had up. Add to it a little bit. And this one I will absolutely, even though it looks like it's a complete necklace, I love these metal rings when I get them. Love using them for various size earrings and other projects, so I'm definitely going to reuse this guy for parts because I love those metal rings. Alright, here's another handful. Here's a tube glass. Oh, big chunk of hair. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, and speaking of love, love! Look at that. I'm gonna get this little hitchhiker off of here. S. Just a tiny little S. On a chain that has a mark on it that I've never seen before. And I think it's a mountain and a moon on the other side, but I'll have to double check it. So I'll probably pop it up next to us here when I do find it and get a better look at the logo. So this barrel class has $45 on it. Let's see. I guess it's not a barrel class. I guess it's a tube slide. I'll think of the real name for it eventually. After I'm done shooting this video and during edit, I'll think of the real name and then I'll let you guys know. Bracelet. Real glass beans. I can't really get this to line up. There we go. Got it in there. It's a very secure one too. That's nice. That's a nice one. Let's see what else we have. Hope. These are 925, so these are silver charms. Hope, love, and faith. And the clasp itself is 925. It's stamped at the end. So I wonder if the little beads are as well. They look like it. These little box beads. Doubt you guys can see this. I'll see if I can bring it up. But there are no point with this guy. So there are stamps inside here on the beads. I believe this one says 925 and the other ones might be hallmarks. But I'll have to get out a better jewelry loop and look at it. It has it there too. So I was six I expect the only things that probably aren't silver on it are these round beads, but I'll have to do an acid test to be sure that's the case. If not, it's a very well-made bracelet. So this was the bracelet I was looking at before, I believe. It's not too bad. This will go into a bangle lot. Um, everything still looks to be attached and none of the patina seems to be worn off. So that will go in the bracelet a lot. We have a little plastic resin Santa. A very big Santa. It's a whole bunch of stamps. The first three letters are B-E-A. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like you can also wear it 
at one time as a necklace. Looks like the glue was either a repair job or corroded and expanded with age. But little Santa Claus can dance. Santa Claus lost an eye. Times have been tough. Poor Santa. Poor Santa's gonna go over there. Then we had this felted or velvet uh, witch. Looks like the clasp got tweaked and bent. This is how I make myself hurt again on camera. Definitely vintage, definitely worn, almost smooth, almost all the velvets off on some of it. And then we have a little sunflower. Which isn't marked, but I'll have to test it anyways. So it feels feels like it could be silver, so I'll have to test it and find out. Uh, but there are two of them, so that's an improvement with our other earrings. So we have this yellow necklace. Which seems really... Oh, it's on a stretch bracelet. Okay. Really light, light plastic. So I'll have to test and see what kind of plastic it is, but I don't know. Seeming like it's a fairly new piece. The elastic is in really good condition. So another stretch bracelet. Which I'll probably end up using for parts. Most of that's plastic. So we have this interesting piece. I have to see what kind of stones these are. They don't feel waxy, so I don't think they're calcite. And then we have these intricately carved boner. Stone. I think it might be stone. Little turtle dude hanging out. It's definitely stone. It's too heavy to be bone. So that, that's pretty cool as a whole. Might list it as is once I figure out what that stone is. And then we have this guy that they had taken the stone out of, the main stone. So I'll test the two little ones. And it has a sizer in it. It's a couple sizes too big for the previous owner. So they put this in there. And while my camera was dead, I uh, got in here with my tool and scraped out old lotion and other grossness to see if there's any marks. And there is a mark. Right inside here, I had to move one of the wires out of the way. It says China. I don't know if there's another mark on the other side. I have to get... These are just clamped on there. So once you undo the clamp... You can see everything that's going on. Yeah, there isn't any other indications or anything in here to say otherwise. It just says China on one side. So I'll have to test it. It's pretty light, so I don't think it's going to be really of anything other than craft value. Uh, AK China got just a random clasp hanging out. And red glitter heart. Somebody's little crochet flower on a stretchy band. That crochet flower is really dirty. I don't know what that is.
Wait. Lots of lonely earrings. Ew. That rubber back's really old. It's yellowed. Um, I guess this would be for parts. It doesn't really... It's molded plastic. There's a seam that runs along it. Lonely Earring Club, it goes. Looks like a little resin flower. Big clip on. Really worn out earring pad. I'm gonna say that's enamel, but it feels too thin. It might be. Lonely Earring Club. Another one. I don't think I'm gonna find any more pears in this box. I think we've hit our, our max. Ew. That brooch is complete. It's got everybody present and accounted for as far as the stones go. You might go in a brooch lot. <coughs> Somebody might want to make one of those bouquets out of it. This is a cable ring. Okay. Another earring. Bangle that's losing. Um. Oh, I guess the little stones are just painted on there. They're not really set in. So that can go into a lot. It's probably aluminum. It's kind of a cool piece. Definitely weird. A little tiny earring charm. This one is marked. Is it marked? You've got the ear wires all jacked. And that's marked Roman. Oh no, did I do that? Or did that start like that? Stone's gone. The center stone's out of there. I don't think I've come across Roman before for a jewelry mark, so I'll have to research that one and see what's going on. Uh, this is 925. It's stamped right inside there. I don't think the post is. Post isn't straight anymore. Okay, let's see. We have another ring. Missing two end stones. It's really light. Light and not marked. Not magnetic either. I don't know if it'd be worth testing those stones, but I'll give it a try just in case. But I'm pretty sure it's just um, bulk jewelry rings. There's a pair of earrings, but they have bare grease on it, so they're going to be scrap or garbage. You can see the there's green in here on the mechanic part, or the bin, on the, what's that called? On the pivot point in there, there's green. Those hearts would be good for something. Oh, they're hanging off a heart, from a heart. That's cute. I wonder if you're silver. Nope, not marked. But those are cute hearts. Definitely reuse those in something. Alright. This looks like one of the ribbon charms. We'll reuse that, it doesn't look. I 
Oh, precious metal. This is missing its clasp on that side. I think they're supposed to be dolphins. They kind of look like tuna. Because they got the little lines in the fins. I've only ever seen those be like dolphins and stuff. The big statement earring. I guess it goes this way. not marked. This looks like it would be marked, but there's no lettering in it. It's a cool piece. And we got one of the super glue charms from the beginning of the video. It's a pretty heavy. And a memory wire ring. Let's see. Plastic earring. Aluminum bracelet. Stackable thumb ring. I think that's what that is. No big winners, I think, in this lot. Oh, here's AK. That clasp we had had AK on it. It had AK China on it. Oh, that guitar heart's sweet. That'd be cool to put on a little chain. <laughs> and another Betty Boop, which we can put with the heart Betty Boop we got. And we're missing a stone there. Oh, that's sparkly. Unmarked, but that's pretty shiny. Definitely reuse that guy. Very patriotic. Let's see, 19th hole. Beer mug. Earring. And not marked. But that's a pretty cool gulping charm. A little silver earring. Really not a whole lot to be excited about in this box. A little disappointing. A lot of um, craft stuff. Very dirty. You can see my fingers have changed colors. Um, some things I have to research and some things I have to test with the acid test and with the little diamond tester. But mostly this was a craft lot. A lot of good beads, little pieces here and there. So, a couple holidays represented. And a couple free range tassels. So, all in all, it was an okay box for crafting. Um, I'll have to definitely untangle this nightmare and see if there's anything worthwhile in there. Just searching for end tags and stuff, it doesn't really look like there's going to be a whole lot going on in here besides craft. Um, no hang tags or anything, but that's okay. I like to do it for the parts. So, unfortunately, that was a very mm, meh box. Uh, hopefully the next one will be better when I get a next one. And thank you all for watching. 